All right, let's get acquainted with the Glitch interface. So right now I have our index file open. And so you can see this is just a plain HTML file. On the right here, this is what we call a text editor because we can edit any of the text here. And so let's say I want to add a main tag in here and maybe put a, like a heading in here. Hi, I'm a heading. Okay, so this is where you get to make edits to your files and add things. Um, I'm gonna close out of that. Um, and just create your code. This is where you're going to build your websites. On the left hand side here, we have all of our files. So like I said, I'm on the index file. We also have another HTML file, positioning.html, which if I remember correctly, you'll be doing in week six. My, I think it's week six. Um, and then a CSS file, which is where your styling comes from. Um, but you will learn more about CSS next week in week two. Uh, we have a resources.html file. I actually think some of these resources are out of date though. Um, but if you need resources, you know, they should be in the course or you can reach out to me. Um, and then, so anyway, we won't go through all these files because they're not important right now. However, just know that this is where all of your files sit. Um, if you needed to click uh, create a new file, you could click new file and add a new file here. So you'll actually do this for the about me project and you'll see that uh, when we get to that and you can click add this file. You can also upload a file. Um, you can add license and code of conduct files that isn't really relevant to this class, but those are some things you can do. Um, one thing to note up here, you have some project options. So you can see this has kind of a funny name, Island Tinted Radium. This is just a randomly generated name that Glitch gives your project. Every project on Glitch has to have a unique name because it has a unique URL so that we can visit your project. Um, so if you want to change it, you can change it to whatever you want. You could change it to your name, WDD130, um, whatever you want or you can just leave it like this it doesn't matter you can also give it a description so if you end up creating lots of projects on glitch the descriptions are useful so that you know what project this is um, for example later on in the semester you're going to we're going to have a new template so this is for our first project and then later in the semester you're going to be creating your second project so it would be nice if you had a description so you knew which project is which especially if you just leave the generic name here um, you can always create a new project you can remix this project if you want to edit with this one and you can switch projects if you would like to work on a different project um, you can change your theme so they have a dark theme on when creating videos, it's just much better with a light theme, so I'm going to keep this. However, when I actually am editing code, I prefer a dark theme. Um, you can get it to refresh the app when you make changes, and I'll show you what that means in a second. And you can have it wrap your text. I recommend having it wrap your text because say I have, let me show you what that means. Say you have a line of code that's really long. See how it just wrapped it to the next line? Whereas if I didn't have the text wrap, I would have to side scroll to see everything. So I'm going to turn that on. And then you can also click this to see all the keyboard shortcuts if you like keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to move my face up there. I'm sorry if this is lagging a little bit. Um, and then you can archive the project if you if you want, but um, you shouldn't need to do that for this class. Um, and then we have the show. So you can show your project next to you in the code. So see that code that I wrote that said, hi, I'm a heading. Uh, now we can see that code that I wrote. And I copied and pasted that line of code several times. So now I have site plan in this list several times. <laughs> um, so you can see what you're working on as you work on it. And I'll show you. Um, Let's see, we'll add a, a line of code here so you can see, whoa, that's so cool. Okay, so you can see that 
it updates immediately. Um, now let's say you want to see it in a new window. So you can click that so it's here and then my code is here. Um, and now we talked about that auto refresh. Uh, let's say I wanted to say awesome instead of cool. That's so awesome. It updates over here and now it's auto refreshing over here. Sometimes that can get annoying so you can change the auto refresh or the refresh app on changes and so let's see we'll change it back to cool and you can see it didn't change here and it didn't change here we would have to refresh the page um, and refresh this page right here to see those updates so this is all preferential um, what you prefer sometimes I like to have this on and sometimes I don't and you can do that you can switch it on and off as as you'd like then we have some tools down here so you can rewind your changes so we'll wait for it you can see I've made a lot of uh, changes in here this is mostly from today let's see I can kind of scroll through and find my changes let's see so I can see at this checkpoint I haven't, the red means that this was not here, um, and the green means that, I'm actually not sure, I think it means that it's added, but that doesn't really make sense. The red means that you didn't have this code at this point in, in time though, okay? Um, that much I do know. And so let's say I want to get back to this point, I can rewind it to this checkpoint if I can remember how to do that. Oh, now I'm moving it. Oh man, I don't know if I remember. Oh, here. Ha! <laughs> My face was covering it. So you click rewind project and so now it's going to rewind it to that point in time. So now I no longer have that text and I no longer have that site plan link in there several times. Uh, so that's a helpful tool. What are some other tool? Logs. Um, you shouldn't need logs for this project. Uh, you also shouldn't need a terminal for this project. If you ever need to import and export this project, which you might need, and I will go over this in another video, um, then this is how you can do that. And then custom domains, I don't know much about that. You can look into it if you'd like. Um, so yeah, those are the main settings that you should be aware of in here. One other thing that I'll show you just because uh, we'll be using it later. But say, let's, well, we're going to do this in the about me, but I'll just show you anyway. Let's say we're working on the positioning activity, and so I need to work on the positioning file instead of the index file. I just need to type in the name of that file into here, change the URL to that, um, so that I can view it in here. And let's say I want to go view the index file again, which is basically the default file. I can just click reset, and it will take me back to that index file. So, um, let's see, I'm trying to remember if there's anything else that you would need to know. Oh, let me just show you, this is kind of a keyboard shortcut, but it, it's really great for development. Let's say you created something, so I'll just create a heading here, and this is my hello heading. Let's say I typed something wrong. You guys aren't going to be able to see this because this is on my keyboard, so I'm going to tell you what I'm typing. I have a Mac and so I have a command button, so I click command Z and it undoes. If you have a Windows computer, it should be control. So control Z will be undo and on a Mac, command Z. Now let's say that was a mistake and I actually want to redo. On my Mac, I click command shift Z to redo and on a Windows that would be control shift Z so command Z command shift Z so um, that will also be really helpful while you guys are writing code for the first time um, so I hope you guys are feeling a little more confident in using this glitch editor and 
are ready to start the about me activity so there's a video for that where you can do it on the on your own if that's what you'd prefer